Wednesday. Wednesday is a Monday. That's okay. So I did a thing. off a trailer really you go through three steps right what are the three main things you do when dropping off a trailer you uh, disconnect the air hoses and the electrical hook the airline or electrical wires so you disconnect those you pull the fifth wheel lever disconnect the trailer and then apparently you just drive away apparently I thought there was only two steps but if you only do two steps and drive away that trailer seems awfully close to the ground <laughs> after pulling away and it just it just drops off the truck. Oh yeah, landing gear, landing gear, right! Landing gear is a third step. You want to lift up the landing gear so the trailer stays standing, right? Yeah, yeah. Missed that step. First time I've ever missed that step. Seems important. Seems like trailers don't like to drop onto the ground. They like their landing gear to be used. Why am I dropping my trailer? I don't know if you can see in my mirror, but I'm hauling two trailers. I'm on Super B. I'm a 30-wheeler again. Dispatch said that we don't have any uh, quad axle loads right now, but we've got some Super B loads if you want to do that. I'm like, okay. I don't like you guys anymore, but okay. I'll run a Super B with only 500 horsepower. Wasn't that a promise that was made? It's like, you'll never haul Super Bs, it's only got 500 horsepower, we know it's... But as long as I never run Super Bs, I'll be okay with the 500 horsepower. <laughs> I'm running a Super B. That's that or sit. I'll run the Super B. Well, apparently, if it's not that or sit, apparently it's sit or sit. So the job that I'm delivering this load to tomorrow at 7 a.m. just called the boss as I was going through Grand Forks. Uh, we can't take that load tomorrow. So we'll see if that's going to still be a thing by the time I get all the way to a Soyuz. If so, I'm just going home. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm having a Monday. yet there's one more on, on the real Monday only two bad things happened was the flat tire and the airbag but today on Wednesday three three things have happened now the third thing is I'm driving along I had to hit the brakes hard not like super hard but I had to hit him hard Uh, Grand Forks after fueling up because a car kind of cut in front of the road and said, okay, hard brake, slow down. Apparently, Dunnage doesn't work that way. I imagine
basically, instead of having the dunnage on the trailer, it was now sitting on the frame of the truck, and all my straps are loose. Now the whole load shifted forward a few inches. And rolled the dunnage right off the truck. I didn't even notice, the forklift driver did the dunnage, and he put the dunnage right on the front bumper. I noticed it once I was uh, doing my brake check on Pulse, and I'm like, oh, that dunnage is right on the front bumper. I'm like, oh well, it just feels uncomfortable that close to the front. Sure enough, it bit me. The front of this load has no dunnage underneath it, just sitting on the flat deck now. So I quickly pulled over and retightened all the straps and I got an extra piece of a 4x4 now. Someone wants a 4x4? So hopefully my Monday's done. So I'm not sure exactly what's going to go. I've, I've been requesting a three-day weekend. It's Wednesday. I might just get a four-day weekend and deliver this Monday morning. Who knows? They might say that uh, deliver it on Friday morning, which means I still go home and just leave tomorrow afternoon. bad thing the uh, trailer I, I didn't say what I all broke there uh, my truck has that uh, low you know like um, when you're running the low beds and the Jeeps and stuff you the truck has a little ramp going up to the fifth wheel this truck has that ramp built in there from the factory which is kind of nice I'm like not really useful it was useful when you're gonna drop a trailer and you have that ramp, you do no damage to your truck. Just drop the trailer off the back of the truck, no damage to the lights, the fenders, the, or the mud flaps, no damage to the truck at all. The trailer, however, the two glad hands kind of stick out and uh, the trailer drops faster than I was pulling out, so I broke the two glad hands right off the front. Uh, if you don't know what glad hands are, they're the uh, connectors that connect the air hoses to the trailer and the air hoses provide all the suspension and uh, brakes on the trailer. So I broke those two connectors off. Which are really easy to just unscrew and screw in new ones. And that's the only damage I did. Landing gear was perfectly good and I did nothing, no damage there. I, everything else is good. The trailer was completely empty. So it could have been worse, but uh, that's too many close calls for me. I'm like, what else am I doing wrong today? I don't want anything to go very wrong today. Broke two glad hands. Probably can't deliver this load tomorrow. Stuck behind a van. My whole load shifted. if uh, vans like this are slow on the road. 
all the power to you, drive whatever comfortable speed. But I do expect you to pull over at every pull out. If you're gonna be that slow, pull out. Let people buy. Got a pull up coming up just up ahead. If this van's still in front of me by the time we get to Greenwood, through Greenwood, I no longer like this van. But as long as they're slow and they're um, courteous and let people buy, do your thing, whatever. But I get impatient if you don't let me buy. First opportunity right here. Nice pull up, both sides of the road. Don't tell me they're gonna speed through the whole town and I'm gonna catch them up on the other side.
the bright side, it is like a uh, four day weekend here. The skies are actually blue today. Maybe I'll get lucky and the whole weekend will stay blue. I've got uh, extra videos I've recorded in the past, so if I'm not driving the next two days, do you guys still have about half hour videos? I don't know when they were recorded, it was probably quite a long time ago, so it might be old videos, but you guys haven't seen them yet. So they'll be out of order, but you guys will still get videos. Which means I get to record new extra videos. That's what happened. We'll see. way and 
you know they'll never get closer than that because I've already parked in a way that it's closest they'll ever get. They'll just go further apart. Just goes up to you. I just told him, well, when I back it up, and if you see it's jackknifed at the end, I meant to do that. And if it's straight as an arrow, I meant to do that too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm backing up blind. I've got to kind of guess at this. That should work there really well. Like, I thought I'd be a lot rustier at backing up Super B than I... It worked out. Instincts kicked in. passed you before the big rig up front and then I had to hit the brakes hard and pull over and re-secure my load and he passed me. It's pretty slow. Uh, he fueled up with me in Grand Forks and asked where the Timmies was in Grand Forks. I'm like, they're building one but there is no current, there is no Timmies in Grand Forks because I'm rich, I'm going to Richmond, where's the next Timmies I can find? I'm like, oh so he's how far away is that? I'm like, about an hour? He goes, well, this truck, probably two hours. He's right, he's pretty slow. Adventure starts here.
across this property. What are you doing? They stop down there going, oh, we're in the middle of a lumber yard. Uh, shoot, what do we do? Not that much lighter. It's lighter. Drives are almost maxed out. We can go 17 and we're close. Here we're 18 and a half and we go 24, so we're light on the bridge. Can't really see. And 10, 900. We can go 17 there, so yeah, bridge and pump are both light. with me easily? Why not? A little harder doing this one-handedly. Let's, let's see. I thought turning you guys two sideways. oil in here so oil is good and it's not hot at all it rolled underneath great Oil as well. Not hot as well. Not hot at all either. Around the front, huh? So yeah, here you can see where the dunnage used to sit. Now it's sitting right on the deck. It should have dunnage like this underneath it. Seems like everything else is holding together nicely. Let's hope the rest of the day goes well. And yes, the truck really needs a wash. Maybe I'll have time to do that this weekend. It's a nice long weekend. That might work out well. suction cup you guys back on. Hey look, we're disconnected. Okay, so everything seems fine. No, you did not hear me put the seatbelt on yet. Because I want to be able to see if there's vehicles coming, and there are.
necessary. Once you've committed though, just hammer down, try to get out of the way. Well, now we know the pups are nice and cool. They're a lot cooler than I thought they would be. It's like, are we even driving? Any heat going into them? Yeah, maybe I'll have time to wash the truck this weekend. If it's gonna if it's gonna be a four day weekend, I'll for sure I'll have time. I'll, I'll make time. Three day weekend? I kind of got some plans.
Cello. Don't think you could even kayak down there. some people sitting in the river in their lawn chairs just sitting right in the river to a super V that doesn't slow down around this corner. Yeah, they definitely uh, tip it on their side. It's hard to roll a semi going uphill, but they've done it on that corner.
perhaps not a legal place to pass, but it's safe. It's going so slow, you can see far enough ahead of the road. here. Sure.